Oh, all right, there we go. <laughs> I forgot to turn the audio back on. Uh, welcome, Railfunk. How are you? Thank you for, thank you for rescuing the stream because that would have been disastrous. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. I appreciate that. So we uh, thankfully have only just started here. We've only got a couple minutes uh, into the stream so far. So we've we've managed to save <laughs> save the stream here. Although I would have gone the whole freaking time with no audio. That would have been great. <laughs> so basically, we, nobody missed much here. You know, I, I went ahead and um, passed some time to get my mechs. <coughs> Excuse me. Get my max back in working order here. Um, and we're looking at jobs now. Next job here. How's your day going here? So far. Uh, ambush convoy. I don't really want to do that. Recovery. That might be okay. Let's let, let's try this. Let's try this one. The ambush convoy. This might not be great for... We'll get a lot of weapons, I think, out of that. Um, let's go for the salvage here. 5 and 21? Yeah, we'll take that and get a little extra money, too. All right. So let's take out some, some of these scrub pilots here. Get them some experience. So let's see. Squire's still out. He's going to be out for a while. He took a took a big old shot to the back in the last mi uh, one of the last missions. Ashram, welcome. Uh, yes, this is the base game. Um, no, actually, we do have... Uh, I recently, for, for Christmas, actually got all the DLCs. So um, I've been kind of sh trying to showcase them in career mode here. Um, so, I, I, yeah, like I said, I'm still, I'm still uh, discovering some of the new content that we have here. Let's, let's take out... Let's take out Jasconius. And we'll put in, let's see, this blackjack. It's got a lot of, maybe we put provocateur. We'll put him in there, and then we'll take out our, our, our rancher here. She won't hit much, I don't think, but we'll get that gunnery skill up. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's actually got all three DLCs now as of Christmas time. Um, so there's some cool new stuff that I've seen so far, new mission types. There was one I did last night that I've already forgotten completely. So I think this looks good. Maybe we take out... Should we take out the panther? I don't think there's any reason to ever take out the panther. Because then we'll have two mechs with... Super heat PPCs. I like the fly... I, I do like the fire starter. We're going we're gonna to take this a... Uh, this looks good. <coughs> All right. Now we, now we load. So how's everybody's day going? This is nice because the, not only do I have the day off from work, but the kids did not have the day off from school. So they're at school, <laughs> which is why I'm able to do this. Um, but yeah, I thought the. Uh, like I was saying earlier, when my audio was still muted, um, <laughs> we have, uh, uh, oh, I forgot. It fell out of my brain. We did, uh, we did a lot of missions on a lunar, on like a moon planet, and it was terrible. So we got, we, we got out of that last night, but we were doing very well. So, um, you know, I, I kind of just wanted to keep going. I have, I have a soft spot in my game for any tactical turn-based kind of game and Battletech is very near and dear to my heart so I just get into it uh, we got into a good groove last night so I just want to keep it going see how see how long we can keep it going here all right so we got to destroy the convoy should be easy <clears throat> I got some pretty fast max, and the, the the centurion is maybe not super fast, but it's heavy, so I can rely heavily on it to at least take some hits from the uh, from the guard max. <coughs> God, 
Come on. You can do it, computer. I believe in you. Nope, there we go. See? Just gotta sweet talk it a little. Command interface initiated. I learned about uh, a, a mod last night. Apparently there's a mod out there from Nexus Mods called Rogue Tech. Which sounds super cool. And I'm, I'm going to definitely be giving that a try. Someone popped into chat yesterday and was telling me about it. I hate this map. <laughs> it's terrible for this type of mission. We don't have any mechs that can jump, and we got this big old wall between me and the convoy. So I guess we can blitz over there. That's not too bad, because then they got to follow this road. Row ads. Okay, so it's not too bad. So we got a, a, a nice slope here that we can climb. And we have at least one mech that can jump. So I think we just beeline straight for it. I would say that we could kind of come around the, the, the right side here, but I feel like that would waste too much time. All right, so let's, let's get a move on here. Where's my mechs? They're over here. Hmm. Yeah, let's go this way. Da da da. Roger. Oh my god, you're so fast. I love it. Now, if we go up there, I'll just have to come back down. So let's go this way. Moving. Mm -hmm. She's moving. moving out. Nice and hard, that's what she said. But yeah, I, I, I you know, the. I was talk I talked a lot last night about how um, how great a job Hairbrain Schemes did with bringing the tabletop version of this game to life in the video game world, and one of my only complaints. <laughs> glad you appreciated that rail funk. <laughs> uh, one of the only uh, complaints I had was that there's no mention of the clans or clan tech. Um, they talk about lost tech in the in the campaign mode, which is close, but Primary not quite what I was looking for. So the fact that uh, there was a modding community out there to increase the challenge level of the game and bring the clans into it is something I'm very excited to try out. Oh. <laughs> oh. Let's see, mineral field. Mineral fields deposit interfere with targeting systems. Ooh. Plus four difficulty to hit units within a mineral field. Plus two difficulty for attacks made within a mineral field. Okay, they got a head start. Susan heard me say it too. Well, hi Susan, how are you? Glad that even on our day off we can, uh, <laughs> I could still regale you with that's what she said jokes. Let's go. Let's go to the mineral field. I don't think it's going to really hurt us for one turn. But is this is this the 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 girl who can't shoot? No, it's Al. She's good. We're good with that. All right. We do have our two lightest mechs right in the front, though. It's probably not the best idea. Okay. Combat is begun. Okay, so I'd love to get up in range, but I think we should play it safe here. Let's let's actually get her into cover. Order acknowledged. Cause she's got that bulwark ability. But yeah, anyway, what I was saying before I got distracted by how hilarious I am, um, I'm I'm very I had never heard of. Uh, Rogue Tech before last night, so I'm, I looked into it a, a bit today, and I'm definitely looking forward to playing that for sure. Miss, miss, miss. Oh, we got one hit. Okay, good. Rogue Tech being shot at doesn't remove evasion pips. Really? Oh my god. So I, my guess is that that would uh, make for a lot of melee attacks. Because that would be... I mean, that by itself dramatically increases the uh, the difficulty level. But it is definitely way more accurate to the tabletop version of the game for sure. Because just because you got shot at doesn't mean it was suddenly easier to hit you. Uh, 
five percent? No, I think we'll avoid that. Let's shoot at this guy. We got better shots here. At the start, it at the start it makes it harder to hit stuff. Yeah, definitely, especially with all those light max. But you get some assaults in there, you can really light them up. All right, that was a pretty solid hit. Yeah, we're pretty well into the uh, into this career mode at this point. And even now, I'm still seeing so many light and medium mechs with super high evasion. And even later, when you get the assault mechs, you, you kind of um, still end up having a, a, at least a decent amount of evasion because the, your pilot skills get so high. Yeah, you know what? Light them up. AC2s. Let's do Confirmed. it. Swing and a miss. Big whiff. This is not what, like, what you like to see with limited ammo. Right mm -hmm. Alright, we got another mm hmmer. Okay, so we have... Oh, we, we should really keep firing at this guy. I don't like how far ahead the, the convoy is already. That's upsetting. I think we get her into... Let's get her into cover. If we have the option, we might as well take it. Alright, keep shooting at this guy. There we go. Now we're cooking with propane and propane accessories. Bears beats battle mech. Or battle tech. I love it. <laughs> I'm glad you like the new overlay too. Thank you for commenting on that. Um, I was able to find one that uh, was was cost effective, I should say. And by cost effective, I mean free. <laughs> so I'm that guy, but you know I think it uh, I think it looks more professional. I like it. I like this cute little border around around my head here. Makes me feel nice and cozy. All right, so we we gotta like. Thankfully, they have a long way to go, so we should be able to catch up to them and step on them. Mostly missed, Mostly missed me. Well mostly got hit. Oh my god. So one of them clearly has an LRM-20. I'm not thrilled about that. Commander? These mechs, are they ever going to get a turn? I don't even want to look at this guy here. Oh, the coil can... Wow, the coil must not be subject to evasion as much, but I think we ought to just run up and finish this dude off. But we'll save the... Can we hit him from here, actually? We can, but we don't get as much damage from the coil laser. It's probably not bad, though. I mean... He's pretty well dinged up. And I don't really want to put her in a situation where she's going to end up taken all the damage, because I got two heavier mechs that are lagging behind me. <clears throat> yeah, it looks great. A lot of free ones are nice. It does. You know, it. Uh, I, I do kind of miss the... Uh, I love the picture, <laughs> or that, that repeating gif of, uh, of Moss from the IT crowd. I think that's just one of the funniest things. So I kind of miss that a little bit, but um, I'm pretty happy with... Uh, with the new overlay for sure. I, w I, you know, even designed myself a little logo. So now I have a brand. <laughs> uh, you'll be okay, probably. I, I think so. I think that this should be pretty straightforward because the... They're really going to get... S okay. Camera, camera cut. Um, they have to go around that big bend. So... That's usually where I catch up to them when I when I see this map. I, I think that this will probably be no different. But I don't want to jump right up there either with one mech on his own, because that could be disastrous for that one poor mech. I think we'll be too close to use the Ultra ACs. Yeah, let's back up a little bit here. Let's... That still sucks. Hmm. I guess I could shoot at that good that dude up there. That might be. I mean, it's a long-range mech. We should shoot for the long-range targets, right? What are you even? I don't even know what you are. Spider. 
Shadowhawk, yeah, we should definitely start trying to take him down. Our numbers don't look great. But we do, oh, that's right, I forgot we added a new ton of ammo. And took off a heat sink. <laughs> so we'll see if that works out. So wing and a miss. Did one of them hit, at least? Okay. That guy's, I could hear that feet of that Mac going before he even moved. Do get a doon doon. Ready for order. All right. So you, sir. Yeah, you're our tactician, so I'm less worried about your minimum range. Um, yeah, light him up. Oh yeah, look at those solid hits. You should really just fall down. Yeah. Ranchero. Rancheros Huevos. Um, 55 damage for a melee, is, is it worth... Uh, I think it's probably better than trying to fire the PPC that is sure to miss. Do we want you, I think we should punch this dude in the head. Or do we try to just take him out? So at least the Phoenix Hawk is like relatively fast and can jump. Ooh, maybe we go up this way. Let's actually try something like this. We could start taking out I don't know, the PPC and the medium laser I don't think is really gonna do it, but let's let's see what we can how we can position ourselves here. Okay. So this might work. Oh my god, you're about to lose your heat already. Fire the PPC. Mentacore. Primary target damage. Wow. <laughs> Remember when PPCs were scary? Or right, you know what? Screw you, buddy. Cool. It was mostly a miss. Yeah, we. I, I'm glad we actually did jump up there because I'll just start jumping on these guys. Which would be hilarious. She's a pretty good pilot too, so which is why I picked her up. So it's uh, probably way better for her to do that anyway. Always hated PPCs. See, I always had a soft spot in my head for them because of really because of the tabletop. They were very powerful in the tabletop version of the game, but yeah, in in, in the video game, not not so much of a threat. I guess they had to tone it down. Jeepers, criminy. I guess they had to tone it down uh, because it doesn't have ammo. So I guess for game balancing effects, that's probably what they wanted to do. Do we? I think we could run behind this dude. Actually, that sounds. Yeah, that sounds smart. Let's do it. Smart. Since nobody's firing at her anyway. Oh, you're in overheat too. Let's take out one of the medium lasers, actually. I don't think we really need to fire them. The coil's gonna have a good, good solid connection here, I think. Yeah. Okay. We did, we did, did a little something to him there. They do love to shoot that blackjack up. Armor blow through. Internal damage. I'm not worried. Can't believe that javelin's still alive. Um Can we get a shot here? Yeah, we can get a pretty good shot. 
or do we no we're or again we're the long range mech so let's what do our numbers look like here not bad actually the manticore I think the manticore is the one with an LRM it's got an LRM unknown vehicle even though we saw it LRM oh my god three LRM 20s that guy needs to go get into cover at least no one's shooting at her though you know what pop up here we can actually let's multi-shot now that I'm really thinking about it here in my head and do we go for the manticore let's see what our numbers look like here all right, so the LRM medium laser, I want to fire at A. We got a better shot, I guess, the Manticore here. Let's take it. It's beefier, too, so we need to really... Ooh, dinky medium laser. Come on. Jeepers. That's banana hammocks. Oh, the Shadowhawk wants to get fancy. I guess I deserve that. That fire starter's going to get another. It'll be able to charge up its coil laser, too. Um, maybe you jump, too. I don't like how... F these guys are way further ahead than I am comfortable with. Oh, you know what? They still got a long way to go. Yeah, holy crap. I'm less concerned. <laughs> um, but we should probably take care of the threats. These mech threats here. What are they doing even? The Javelin is not going to get hit. The spider might. We could probably punch a real hole through it. Um, you know what? This might be bad for our heat, but I think that... Mm. That looked good. Can we get more evasion out of that? Nope. This looks like our best bet here. Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's not expose our back to that big beefy dude, though. The Shadowhawk. That's what I was thinking of. You know, maybe we actually ought to fire at this guy. Let's do it. Let's ruin his day. I'm not terribly concerned about the spider. Yeah. You need to cool down a little bit. So let's... 75%? Do it. Yeah. <laughs> Always love it when. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You just jumped on a tank. What do you expect? Just because I commanded you to do it. All right. Not too bad. Oh, she got narked. It wasn't that bad. Come on, you still got all your armor. Or I should say, all your internals. So we took out one of them. I'm okay with that. Ooh, okay. Now we're looking a little scary. Plus you got narked, so that's bad. Oh, and you're gonna fall over. Also great. Oh, no, 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 fall over. Yeah, she's falling over. Structure damage. Ugh. Uh, I'm hit. Oh, think a rib's broke. <laughs> Suck it up. Yes, Commander. The fire starter? Can we do another hit on the back there? Hmm. Hmm. 
Could keep firing at this side. That might be good. Gets to get a little extra damage from the coil laser. Rogue Tech just added vehicles as playable things. Are you kidding me? That sounds incredible. They really, so the, these guys really went all out. Yep, always vigilance. Wow. Sounds like these guys, I mean, for as much homework as Hairbrain Schemes did, sounds like Rotec really took it the extra mile for sure. Now I'm excited about that. Now I kind of just want to install it and play that. Tanks and VTOLs. Wow. That's exciting. Okay, we're in a... I think we should... Okay, they're out, they're out of range. So... The Javelin, again, is not really in a position to receive damage from me. Uh, should we... We should consider, uh, I don't know, she's never going to make it, so she needs to stick around and just take care of these dudes. That looks good. Let's do it. Wow. I, so how, do, how does that even, how, do, how does having a VTOL even work for the, like that's, that's some major, that's some major reprogramming right there. Oh, we can't fire the LRMs and anybody else. Okay, that's fine. We're okay with that. Oh, the Shadowhawk's taking quite a beating. It's not going down yet. Okay. What can you do for me, really? You can jump again, maybe. If you jump, can you get back into range of the tanks? No. But. 40 damage with a melee attack? That might be enough. Pretty far in my playthrough, I got five Nidhogs and three Ifrits. Oh my goodness. Four missile support max. Holy crap. That sounds super cool. <laughs> Not quite sure what to do with this guy. I think uh, I think our hopes of mission success really lie in the hands of our uh, Phoenix Hawk on the ground there. She's got the PPC at least, but we need to we need to get the rest of these guys up there and like with the quickness. So maybe we do something like this here. So the Javelin, Shadowhawk are pretty well evaded. I think we should start jumping with the... We need to get him back into action here. We could run the fire starter up there too. They're getting a little too far ahead for my comfort level. Hmm. Plus, the, a lot of dudes are shooting at the shadow at the Black Hawk. I think for now, let's take some shots at this guy and start moving him towards the convoy. Overheat. Is anybody shocked? Okay, solid hit. We will take a couple more shots at him. Sprinting doesn't end your turn in Rogue Tech. See, it shouldn't. That actually always very much frustrated me in this game. What about called shots? Are they a little more prevalent? Because that's a, another thing that's kind of missing from this game. They have it, but it's not, it's not a great system. Okay. 
Back on your feet. Good for you. Overheating doesn't damage structure. No, there was always... Um, I don't remember it ever doing that in the game. I know you had chances for ammo explode. Uh, I'm sorry, not in, not in this game, but in um, in the tabletop, uh, there were there were different effects. Like it, it's like slowed your movement, um, it increased your difficulties to hit and pilot checks, uh, chance of ammo explosions. Did I say that already? And then finally just shut down, which is... Okay. It's a solid hit with the PPC. This is a... I'm actually a little worried. I gotta open up a window here. It's getting getting warm in the old office. Oh! There we go. Get a little... A little 28 degree breeze here. Okay. Guess I was lucky that time. Sure, sure, why not? I'm receiving you. Owl. Let's do something like this here. Hmm. Or maybe something like this. Roger. It's a mod you place in your Mac. Oh, okay. Okay, so now we're giving the Shadowhawk some heat problems. That's going to help us a bit, I think. Oh, you think you're so cute. At least we're in cover. But we're not going to be able to hit any of these guys. We definitely need to take multiple multiple mechs. I hate to waste a turn sprinting, but it might be our best shot. Because I'm not too worried. I think if we leave the Centurion here, no Bulwark and Rotec either. Oh, okay. Yeah, that... Uh, Never made a ton of sense to me. So it sounds like they really, they really uh, went by the the old fast fa fasa fasa right? I was gonna say fasa, <laughs> which is not at all the same thing. Um, yeah, so they really they really took it to the uh, to the extreme as far as bringing the tabletop to life. That sounds... Uh, I'm excited about that, for sure. Maybe we just punch this guy in the head. 